Let me ask you this. Are you the woman who's taking lots of action? You might be the woman who is putting yourself out there. You're going on dates. You might be online. You might be going out with a lot of different guys. You may have been at this for a long time. And if you haven't met your man yet, this question is probably going through your mind. Why not? What am I doing wrong? Well, if you've ever asked yourself that question, watch this video to the end because I'm going to share with you the number one reason why you haven't found love yet and how to solve it. Check it out. Over the last 12 years of supporting women in their love lives, I've been blessed to be able to work with thousands of women from around the world. And there's usually two types of women approaching finding love. One is a woman who's in lots of action, who hasn't had any success. The other is a woman who's in no action, who's just trying to get up the courage to put herself out there. So let's talk about this type of woman. If you're the woman who's in lots of action and you haven't found love yet and you're wondering, what am I doing wrong? I often find that's the wrong question to ask because it's almost not ever about not enough action or the wrong strategy because the answer is not a surface level answer. Almost always there's something deeper going on. Let me explain. You see, there's one part of you that wants the relationship. One part of you that imagines waking up on Saturday mornings with him, that imagines and looks forward to traveling the world with him, that looks forward to snuggling on Friday nights with him and supporting each other in your life and as you imagine this relationship together, maybe starting a family together. There's this part of you that has this image of what you would love and it fills you up and you would love this relationship. But at the same time, there's another part of you that's in resistance, an energetic part of you that has been hurt in the past. Maybe a part of you that has felt the deep pain of abandonment or rejection. Maybe a part of you that's felt the excruciating pain of abuse. Maybe another part of you that has been broken up with. All of those fears, all of that pain, that part of you is in resistance. And the challenge is when you have one part of you that wants to move in the direction of your dream of this relationship and another part of you that's in resistance, those parts are at odds with one another. Now, look at this photo for a moment. This is a photo of an iceberg. Now, imagine that your conscious mind is the part above the water and the subconscious mind is the part below the water. Well, the part of you that wants the relationship is the part above the water. The part of you that's in resistance, this, this, the, the, energetic blocks, so to speak. I call these love blocks or the part that's below the water. And here's the challenge. The below the water part, the submerged aspect of this iceberg is your subconscious mind. And notice how much larger it is than your conscious mind. Now, research shows that your subconscious mind is actually 10,000 times more powerful than your conscious mind. And when your subconscious mind is in resistance, when your subconscious mind says, we ain't doing that again, I am not gonna let you get hurt. I will never let you be abandoned. I will never let you be abused. I'm not gonna let that happen to you because I'm gonna protect you. That's what that subconscious energy is doing. When that energy is in place and your subconscious mind is against what you consciously want, you're not going anywhere. It's like well, having one foot on the accelerator of your car and the other foot press down on the brake. Your car's not gonna go anywhere. So right now, tune in and there's a part of you that wants the relationship and there's another part of you that's in resistance. Ask that part of you right now, say, hmm, what part of me is resistant to opening up, being fully vulnerable and really letting a man in, in an intimate relationship? Ask that part of yourself right now, what is it? What's in resistance? And if you listen, you'll be able to tune in to that part of you. And the challenge is if that part of you is in the subconscious mind, it becomes very, very difficult. In fact, you will never attract the relationship that you want as long as those two pieces are at odds. But here's the good news. You see, your subconscious mind is like clay. There's been tons of research on this and I've personally experienced it and personally coached other women through this. You can absolutely mold your subconscious mind. It's like clay. You can wet it, mold it, and turn it into anything that you want and you can get it aligned in the direction of where you wanna go. And here's the cool thing, it doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter how much pain you've been through, it doesn't matter how young you are or inexperienced you are, you can mold your subconscious mind to get in alignment with whatever you want consciously in your life. 
And when you do that, I'm not saying it's easy. There's a system and a formula that I'll share with you in just a moment for how to do this. I'm not saying it's easy, but when you do this, you unlock 10,000 times more power than you have in your conscious mind to move you in the direction of the relationship you want. And that's when everything changes. That's when men come out of the blue or you bump into this amazing man at the right time at the right place because your lives converge in that moment. It's incredible to see this happen. Let me give you an example of this. One of my clients, her name is Eleni. And when Eleni came to me, uh, my heart just went out to her because she had been in a great relationship and the man devastatingly broke up with her, just left out of the blue, left her feeling surprised and crushed and it totally broke her heart. But Eleni's strong, so she picked herself up, she dusted herself off, she said, I'm gonna find love. She went back out there and she attracted another great guy. And they started dating. They had a really great relationship as far as Eleni was concerned for a year. And then one day she found out that he was married with kids married with kids. Imagine how Eleni felt in that moment. Again, just devastated. But what's even worse this time is now Eleni had a, a crushing awareness that she couldn't trust herself. She clearly had picked two guys in a row, didn't even let herself consciously see that this guy was married and had kids, totally ignored all those signs, and still engaged with a year for him. So she debated about whether or not love was right for her, she was even qualified to have a relationship but that desire for love never left her. And so she, at some point, called us, decided to enroll in a program we do called Manifest Your Man, and I walked her through this process about how to rewire her subconscious mind so she attracts a great guy, how to begin to trust herself, and how to begin to eliminate the love blocks that at that point were keeping her from attracting a real intimate relationship because in some regards she was protecting herself from letting someone get in too close. And so she did that. And within a very short period of time, Eleni actually attracted a great guy, a solid guy, a healthy guy. The two of them fell in love and created a beautiful relationship together. And so if you would love help with this, I've created a great resource for you. You see, this is a process that I used to only teach in my Manifest Your Man coaching programs, my bigger coaching programs. But it is so necessary and so widely needed that I decided to pull it out and record an entire online program that anyone can access and I call it break free and it shows you exactly how to identify what blocks might be going on in your subconscious mind how to rewire them how to dissolve them and how to install your subconscious mind beliefs that align with the relationship that you want it's incredibly powerful it works it's step by step so I'm gonna link it up here in the video and down below click that link you can check out that program I named it break free because you are breaking free from any love block that you have in your life to propel you into the relationship that you want. So check that out. All I ask is that after you sign up and go through that program, email me the results that you receive because I want to hear your success story, your story of love as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon.